everyone, we are live at Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. This is the Presidential Wrestling Federation, and this is World War III. I'm Sonning Steve Lincoln Douglas, here as always. With James J. Hamilton. That's just right, and what a card we have tonight, James. That's right, the PWF going up against international opponents. Presidents fighting against leaders of foreign powers in an epic world war. That's right. The whole world is the stage for this epic PWF event. We got some great bouts tonight. We're going to see some excellent presidential teams going up against some of the top leaders from around the globe. Quite exciting. That's right. We have uh, former tag team champions, the Bushes, set to go up against Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden. Although George W. Bush has raised an alarm claiming that Saddam and Osama have brought weapons of mass destruction into the arena. That's just it. Inspectors are on hand searching diligently for those alleged WMDs. Yes, every man, woman, and child is being searched. They're looking top to bottom here at the Scotiabank Arena to try and find these weapons of mass destruction that are purported to be here. So we'll keep you up to date on how that transpires. But outside of that, we got sitting President Joe Biden teaming up with Barack Obama to take on Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un. What a match that should be, James. Wow, that's going to be exciting. Some very exciting bouts in it. Well, it looks like the action is about to get underway here with our first bout. Let's get down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening bout in this corner, Zachary Taylor. Here he comes and looking just like his namesake, old, rough, and ready. That's right, he does look ready. He looks grim and determined to face his opponent. And in this corner, Generalissimo Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana! Wow, I didn't think that our wonderful announcer here had it in him to pull off that great pronunciation. Well, he's multi-talented. Indeed. Well, here man. comes Santa Ana, wearing the standard luchador mask of Mexico. He is proud, representing his country, and ready to face down Zachary Taylor. Indeed, these two now ready to meet here in the center of the ring. Got Chief Justice Roger Tawney officiating the bout here, and it looks like we're ready to get underway. <laughs> Zachary Taylor, Santa Ana, here we go, off to the races. Taylor, trying to bound in quickly. Santa Ana seems to be qu pretty limber out there. Jumping out of Taylor's way. Taylor charging in now. Santa Ana jumping off the ropes and over the head of Taylor. Wow. Taylor turning around swiftly. Santa Ana backing up a, a couple steps and doing a bit of a shuffle. Look at those acrobatics on part of Santa That's Ana. That's pretty impressive. Zachary Taylor uh, not amused. He's got his dukes up. He's telling Santa Ana, come on, let's have a, let's have a real fight. Santa Ana sticking his chin out. Being cocky now. Taylor takes a swing. Santa Ana ducking under it. Wow. Now rolling under the legs of Zachary Taylor, and he's back up behind him. Taylor spinning around now, and he is vexed. Santa Ana putting some quick moves. And uh, quite the more impressive, given the fact that Santa Ana is down a leg. That's right. Military veteran lost his left leg uh, in war. And that uh, wooden prosthetic not slowing him down at all. That's it. Both of these men hardened by war. Taylor now pressing in again. Santana with a hard kick from Ooh. the left foot. And that really looks to have put Taylor off his balance. Wow. That seems to have hurt wow. Santana now. Amping up the crowd. Maybe a wooden leg is an advantage. It, well, it, it looks like that could be the case here. Going over to Taylor now. He's grabbed him by the hair and a, a big hard right to Zachary Taylor. Zachary wow. Taylor now, reeling a little bit, but he's back up, and he's got a fierce look in his eye. He's charging towards Santa Ana once more. 
Santana, trying to jump over him. Taylor, he jukes. He's grabbed him. He's got Santana. And it looks like he's trying to whirl him into a bear hug. Santana rolling and squirreling out of there. Look at My him. My goodness, he was like an he's eel. He's behind now. He's got Zachary Taylor in a headlock from behind. He's trying to turn it into a sleeper hold. My goodness. Santana applying pressure. Zachary Taylor the wily struggling to Santa remain Anna. conscious. Zachary Taylor now, he's trying to make his move towards the ropes. He's got a weight advantage here. He could virtually walk Santa Ana around this ring, but Santa Ana's got a hard grip on him. Zachary that blood Taylor. vessel is not pumping properly. Nope. He's re up here, oh, and he is going to reach the ropes. Chief Justice Tani making Santa Ana release the hold. Zachary Taylor now trying to regroup, regain his composure here. Tawny moving in, making sure Zachary Taylor's okay and that they're ready to proceed with the bout. Now he's waving them together again. This one's going to continue. Taylor and Santa Ana. Santa Ana trying to shuffle a little bit cocky. Taylor now edging in like a bull and oh, he's just rammed Santa oh. Ana. And Santa Ana's down on the canvas, but he rolls up and he's hopped back up to his feet. Taylor now pressing the attack. Santa Ana, he's trying to bull him against the ropes, is Taylor. If Taylor could corner Santa Ana, he might be able to dominate this fight. But Santa Ana just seems to keep slipping away. Taylor pressing forward hard now. Santa Ana edging out of the way and jumping up to the ropes and over. Oh my he's, God. Oh my. A scissor kick right to Zachary Taylor. He went right up to the top rope and right down into Taylor with what a vicious quick maneuver. Singer. And Taylor's down the mat. Santa Ana wasting no time. Get he is going to bound off the ropes and go up. And, oh, oh, a big goodness. leg drop. A wooden leg drop at Ouch. that, James. Right onto Taylor's neck. He Taylor grasping at his throat now. The prosthetic leg of Santa Ana coming across the throat of Zachary Taylor. Santa Ana looks about ready to... He thinks he's going to finish this off. He's dragging Zachary Taylor into the center of the ring. What's oh, he doing? Oh, no. What is this? Oh, oh, no. It's the Acapulco ankle lock. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This one's got to be over. Look Taylor, it. he's slamming his fists on the mat. He is in excruciating pain. Sweat pouring from his brow. Spittle dripping from his mouth. Chief Justice Tony asking him if he wants to surrender. He's saying no, but I don't know how much longer he can hold on. He's hanging in there. He's... He's trying to push himself up and flip this move over on Santa Ana. Santa Ana's desperately trying to claw back on Taylor. Taylor's arms, they fall into the mat. It looks like maybe he's giving up. What's this now? He's reaching around. He's grabbing Santa Ana's leg. He's grabbing onto him, trying to roll him out of this move. They're rolling back and doing. forth now. Zachary Taylor... Oh, man, he's just trying to hang on here. He's got a hold of Santa Ana, but Santa Ana is twisting his ankle. His Taylor's face is red. Santa Ana still looks confident. Zachary Taylor is up to something. He's rolling. Oh, and they just... He's, he's got him off they balance. rolled he over. Him over. Santa Ana went down. Zachary Taylor, and now he's up. Oh, my. He's got Santa Ana's leg. He's got Santa Ana's he's prosthetic Santa leg. Ana's leg. Oh, my God. He's beating him with it. Santa Ana on his knees begging it. No. Oh, my God. Zachary Taylor he, winding up and, oh, he just hit Santa Ana right in the face with his own leg. My God, Santa Ana's own foot connecting with his own mouth. What a turn of events here. And Rouser Tawny is declaring it legal. He's not calling it a foreign object. Well, Santa Ana brought it into the ring. Yeah, it was technically his leg. He'd been using it against Zachary Taylor. Roger Tawny's official ruling it was a Mexican object, not a foreign object. Zachary Taylor now in complete control. Santa Ana looks to be unconscious on the mat. Zachary Taylor, oh, gave him another crack with that leg, one for good measure. Right across the ribs, and now Taylor, he's just putting his right foot on the stomach of Santa Ana. Tawny now, one, two... Three, it's over. It's over. Zachary Taylor. Roger Tawny coming over, shaking his hand, raising his arm in victory. Santa Ana. Look at this. His this, people, his this, people are coming to try and Spanish announcer's him. table is not happy with that ruling no, by Chief aren't. Justice Tawny. Oh, it looks like they're exchanging words with Zachary Taylor, and Taylor has noticed. What's Taylor doing? He's walking back over to the Santa Ana. He... He's picked up his leg and tar he's hurled it at the, at oh the my. Spanish announcers. 
The Spanish announcers letting loose with a flurry of what I can only assume are curse words in Spanish. I can only imagine, my God! Zachary Taylor tossing the prosthetic leg of Santa Ana at the Spanish announcers. They do not look pleased about it. Taylor looking pleased with his victory and Judge Tawny looking quite pleased as well. What an incredible bout we just saw here. Indeed. Presidential superstars off to a good start here. That's just it. Showing themselves on the world stage for the first time. And we're just getting started here. What a match we got next. Let's get down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, the team of America... Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. Here they come. Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, representing Team USA here in this bout. That's right. They're waving to the crowd. Reagan, somewhat of a fan favorite. Indeed, Nixon, he is not so much, but hands. he's determined. Nixon seems quite pleased with the crowd's response as they make their way to ringside. And their opponents, Team Soviet Union, Nikita Khrushchev, and Mikhail Gorbachev. Here they come, Khrushchev and Gorbachev. That's right. Looking uh, quite pompous, quite proud, quite prepared, I would say. They look ready to bring down an iron curtain here in the squared circle. Indeed they are. It's going to be up to Nixon and Reagan to break through and tear down that wall. We'll see if they're able to do that here as these Soviets make their way to ringside. And we're going to see who's going to start this bout. Looks like Nixon is opting to start. And Nikita Khrushchev going to be opting to start for the Soviets. That's got right. Chief Justice Earl Warren officiating the bout here and He's giving the instructions, and it looks like we are ready to begin this bout. Here we go. Nixon and Khrushchev off to the races. Khrushchev coming in quick, and oh, a, a very swift knee from Nixon. Wow. Khrushchev making a quick lunge towards him. Nixon seemed ready for it. And Khrushchev again. Trying to dive in, and oh, a big elbow from Nixon. Look at that. Right across the jaw of Khrushchev. Khrushchev... Looking back at Gorbachev, and now pressing forward against Nixon again. Trying to grab Nixon up. They're grappling now. And Khrushchev trying to get a kick to Nixon. He jumps back. Nixon with, with a quick elbow Ooh. to the gut. Nixon getting the upper hand here. Indeed he is. Nikita Khrushchev looking to be having a little bit of trouble here. But He's Khrushchev, a, little... a big bear of a man. I'm not going to underestimate him here in a grappling situation. Khrushchev no. trying to... Push Nixon back, and Nixon dropping to the ground, and Khrushchev falling onto the ropes in front of him. My God! Nixon getting up quickly. Khrushchev getting up now. Khrushchev, he, he can't believe what's going on here. Khrushchev. He's grappling up with Nixon here. Khrushchev, oh, getting the arm bar. And oh, Nixon just reversed it. Now he has the arm bar. Nixon just appears to be one step ahead he, of his indeed, opponents he does. here. Khrushchev reaching for the tag now. Nixon holding him back. Khrushchev in a lot of pain. Nixon applying pressure to that arm. Indeed he is. Richard Nixon making quite a showing here out the box here in this match. Well, it appears to be some sort of hubbub brewing at the Soviet announcer's table, James. The Soviet announcer's not happy with the way this match is going. We're, be we're being told the Soviet announcers are, are claiming that Richard Nixon wiretapped the Soviet dressing room. Oh my goodness. And got the drop on Khrushchev and Gorbachev's strategy. That would explain Nixon's upper hand here. It, indeed it would, and I'm sure that this is going to be looked into. But in the meantime, Nixon's got Khrushchev in a little bit of trouble. Or No, he doesn't! Khrushchev now lifting Nixon in a oh! body slam! Khrushchev, a, a bear of a man now. Bearing down on Richard Nixon, pounding off the ropes, and smashing down onto him. You're not going to hear anything on a wiretap that's not going to make that hurt. No, indeed not. Khrushchev, he needs to get to the other side of the ring and make the tag, though. He's been through the ringer here thus far. 
Khrushchev, he's got his wits about him. Nixon is down. He needs to make his way towards Gorbachev. Here he goes. And Reagan just... What, what's this? Khrushchev is down on his back. Reagan he's... just rolled a handful of jelly beans into the ring. He's oh been munching God. on jelly beans on the outside this whole time. Khrushchev, he's down. He smacked yeah, he his hit head his, off the mat. That's right. He hit his head. Nixon, now he's going to make the tag on Reagan, and here comes Reagan. Here Taking comes advantage Reagan. of Tr- Khrushchev, a fresh man in the ring for the Americans. The prone Khrushchev. Reagan going to bound off the... Oh, my God! He just smacked into oh. Mikhail Gorbachev. Gorbachev hit his head off the guardrail. He is unconscious outside of the ring. Gorbachev was just standing on the apron, minding his own business. Reagan bounded right into him. Did that look intentional, James? I think he threw an elbow up. I don't know. Reagan's shrugging his shoulders like it was not intentional, but... He's, he's telling... Earl Warren that it was an accident. He's a little crafty. Khrushchev still down the ring. Ronald Reagan in complete control. As Khrushchev's he got Khrushchev no one now. to tag because Gorbachev is unconscious on the outside. Indeed he is. Reagan now approaching Khrushchev. With a mind to end this thing, I think. Look at Nixon now. What's he doing? He's going around to the... Why oh, isn't he up going... on the apron? What's he doing? He's going after Gorbachev. Oh my God! Oh, my God, the prime Gorbachev and Nixon's going over. He's covering him up. He's keeping him pinned. He's going to make sure there's no tag. But what's this? Who's oh, it? my God. It's Ho Chi Minh. It's That's Fidel a- Castro. They're on Nixon. Oh, my God. Castro and Ho Chi Minh are beating on Richard Nixon on the outside. The unconscious Gorbachev lying beneath this pile of men. Nixon in a lot of trouble now. Ronald Reagan's confused. He doesn't want to let up on Khrushchev, but his partner's in trouble out there. Oh, oh my God! Who's that? It's LBJ and JFK. It's the PWF Tag Team Champion. They're coming to Nixon's rescue. Here they come. JFK laying into Castro. Oh, my God. And LBJ's got Ho Chi Minh up in a, a fierce pile driver. My oh, my God. God. It's just chaos out there. I don't believe it. Gorbachev's crawling under the Soviet announcer's table. Nixon seems to be stirring now. Castro and Ho Chi Minh trying to regroup. Meanwhile, it's complete madness. JFK and LBJ. Oh, they just put a double clothesline on Ho Chi Minh. And, oh, my And now goodness. Castro. Oh, my goodness. The PWF Tag Team Champions making sure this communist interference... They're not going to stand for it, James. They're going to draw not. a line. Earl Warren now seems to be... Baffled at what is going on He's outside trying of the to ring. Maintain some control here, but Earl Warren on the outside now trying to reassert some control. Trying to get JFK, LBJ, Castro, and Ho Chi Minh out of here. That's it. There has been a complete breakdown of US Soviet relations here. Indeed. Earl Warren now holding back JFK and LBJ. Ho Chi Minh and Castro. Getting to their fate now, trying to decide what to do. Meanwhile, Reagan and Khrushchev still in the ring. They are trading blows. Khrushchev now battling back, trying to regain some kind of foothold. And what's this? That's Nancy Reagan. She's been sitting in the front row next what's to Pat Nixon. Here? She's got something in her hand. Well, she I, think just, that, I think that's her crystal ball, James. She just ro- threw it into the ring. Oh my goodness, Reagan's got it. Oh my god! Oh! He just bashed Khrushchev in the face with a crystal ball. Oh, my God. He is down. He's tossed it back outside of the ring. And there goes Castro and Ho Chi Minh are running out of here. JFK, LBJ chasing them back into Hot the locker room. on their tails. Earl Warren back into the ring, but he totally missed what just happened. And Reagan now playing like he doesn't even know what's going on. and He's picking Khrushchev up off the mat. And what's he going to do? Oh, my God. Oh! Bad time for Bonzo. Bad time for Bonzo. That's it. One, two, three. It's over. It's Reagan and Nixon. The U.S. prevailing over the Soviet Union. As it should be. Yeah, well, I try to remain objective, James, but I agree with you. What an incredible bout. Quite a chaotic bout, and I think there's going to be some serious investigating going on in regards to this, as to whether Nixon had wiretapped the Soviet dressing room there, and boy, just all sorts of uh, tomfoolery going on in this bout. I don't know that that's even illegal when a presidential superstar does it.
You may be right, James. Although this is Canada, I don't know what laws apply here, if any. Well, that remains to be seen. But, my goodness, what a match. But so far, the U.S., 2-0 and here in World War Three, And what about we have when we return from these messages? Thanks for listening. Hey kids, are you craving some more exciting action with your favorite presidential superstars? Yeah! <laughs> well, you're in luck, because coming soon, it's PWF The Game, where you can take control of your favorite presidential superstar in an all-out brawl, with many game modes, including Presidential Rumble. I'm gonna be the last man. Survival sequence. I'm gonna survive. And presidential mania. I could lick Joe Biden. That's right. It's Presidential Wrestling Federation the game. Coming soon by Super NES and Sega Genesis. And we're back, ready to see some world superpowers collide as we continue World War Three. Let's get down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Here they come, Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Biden shuffling a little bit uncertainly behind Obama there, but seems to be enjoying the adulation that the crowd is providing uh, Barack Obama. Obama striding confidently down to the ring. He's looking fit and looking like he's uh, ready to carry his team, as he will probably have to do here in this match. Indeed. And their opponents, Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un. Here they come. Oh, and Vladimir Putin astride a horse. Wow. Quite impressive, Kim Jong-un being... Pushed on a trolley towards ringside by well, some Kim of his uh, people a, there. Quite a team of attendants there, quite lavishly dressed. Putin, That's it. shirtless, of course. Looking, looking quite looking, looking, confident. Well, he's looking fit, looking determined. Indeed. And here are these two make their way to ringside now. And Chief Justice Roberts officiating this bout, and let's see who's going to begin. Well, no surprise here, Barack Obama going to start, and Vladimir Putin going to start for the other side. Chief Justice Roberts giving the final instructions. We got Obama and Putin ready to square away here at World War Three. Here we go. And they're Obama off. and Putin coming in on each other now. They're grappling up, and both of them looking very fierce, looking rather equally matched here. Indeed. Neither one, they're going back and forth. Nobody taking a clear advantage just yet. They're both exerting their strength. Indeed, testing each other's strength, it seems. Putin now, he, he appears to be pushing back on Obama just a little bit. He might have to, well, Obama pushing back now. These two appear to be evenly matched here as we begin this bout. But, of course, anything and anything can happen in the Presidential Wrestling Federation. That's right, Putin. Look, oh, look, he's going to fling Barack Obama against the ropes. Coming back, Obama ducks under a clothesline. Ooh, what a quick maneuver. Obama coming back in. Now Putin is ducked Ooh. under a clothesline. These two. Not giving any ground to the other. Certainly not. And... Uh, as far as their teammates go, Kim Jong Un standing, quite, uh, uh, quite seriously taking oh. in this bout, and uh, Joe Biden nowhere to be seen. Yeah, he's gotten down off the apron. I don't know where he's at. We've lost track of Joe Biden here. Kim Jong Un surrounded by his team of attendants that are bowing and scraping. Indeed, he has a something of a coterie about him. And uh, I think they're over there at the North Korean announcer's table or extolling him as, a, of course, the greatest wrestler of all time. That's it. The South Korean announcer's table right next door, 
Crowley has a slightly different opinion. That's it. But in the meantime, Obama and Putin really just testing the waters with each other, it seems. Nobody taking a decisive edge or pressing for a for an attack. Things could go anyway here. Obama and Putin now grappling up again. And let's see what happens this time. Oh, Barack Obama. Oh, he got him in a headlock. My goodness, that was a quick maneuver there. Wrenching now on Vladimir Putin. Trying to bring him down. And then, oh, oh he's going to turn into a bulldog. My goodness, that was a devastating Putin's maneuver. Putin's face smashed into the mat. Barack Obama wasting no time. Getting Putin back up, flinging him against the ropes, coming back. Oh, a drop nice kick to the drop chest. Kick. And Putin, Putin goes reeling down. back against the ropes there and down. Obama now looks to be taking some control in the fight. Getting up now and going over to Vladimir Putin. He's picking him up now. What's he going to do here? And oh, scooping oh. him up for a pile driver. Oh, Vladimir Putin in a lot of trouble now. Barack Obama taking control of the fight. Obama now going over to Putin again. He's reaching down for him, and Putin's grabbed Obama's arm and brought him forward a, a wicked headbutt. Ooh. And Obama felt that one. He might have broke his nose, James. Putin now trying to scramble to his feet and take it, take advantage while Obama is affected wow. by that serious headbutt. Putin just jammed his skull right into Barack Obama's face there. He certainly did. Putin now back up to his feet and going over towards Obama. Putin now pressing forward to Obama, grabs him up and now, ooh, a DDT there. Ooh. Maybe things are turning around for Vladimir Putin here. Barack Obama could be in some trouble. Putin scooping him up and throwing him off the ropes. Obama holding on to the ropes. He's looking for Joe Biden. Where's Joe Biden? Wait, there's Joe Biden. He's in the front row. He's seated ringside. He's sitting in the audience. He's got a hot dog, James. He's got a big glass of beer. He's got a beer and a hot dog. I don't believe this. He's seated near Pat Nixon and Nancy Reagan. He's part of this bout. What's he doing he out there? Obama be... has nobody to tag. Biden looks to be like cheering on Barack Obama, not apparently realizing he should be in this bout. Obama's reaching out for a tag and Biden's giving him the thumbs up. What's going on here? Putin now, he's, he's coming towards Obama. And Obama, he's ducked out of the way of that clothesline just in time. Obama ducking around to the other side of the ring, screaming for Joe Biden to get up to ringside. Biden appears oblivious. Putin now coming up behind Barack Obama. And oh, he got him in an arm bar. Uh-oh. Putin wrenching that arm. Indeed, Look Obama the... looking into be some serious trouble. He's screaming for Joe Biden to get to ringside, and he's trying to reach for the ropes, but Putin, Putin he's pulling him back, and it looks like Putin is going to try and drag him over to uh, his own corner there and make the tag to Kim Jong-un. Putin now wrenching that arm of Barack Obama, trying to force a submission, much like as a KGB agent, he would force confessions out of political dissidents. Indeed, he has some experience in that regard, and Obama is certainly feeling it now. He is hanging on despite being all alone here in this tag team match. Looking desperately for Joe Biden, and, well, B Biden's not in his seat anymore. Where did Joe Biden get off to? In any event, Obama in a world of trouble with a partner that is clearly distracted here. Vladimir Putin. Barack lifting Obama. up and slamming down on that arm. My goodness, it, he, Barack Obama, if he doesn't give up, he might break his he arm. He is in a world of hurt here. He's telling Chief Justice Roberts he's not going to give up. Putin also not giving up. Wrenching that arm. Barack Obama. And inching pulling. himself toward the rope. And he's going to get the rope. I don't believe it. What Putin a forced to break the hold. Putin coming up now to grab Barack Obama once again. Oh, Obama snuck oh underneath his arms, got behind him. He's, he's him spun around. around. A gut wrench suplex, oh. my God. And Obama and Putin both down on the ring. Putin crawling towards his corner to make the tag. Obama wishing he could do the same, but there's no one in his corner. And Joe Biden nowhere to be seen now. Oh, there he is. Wait. He just... He just... There he is buying a giant foam finger. What is he doing? He's waving a... He's saying Barack Obama is number one. And he is number one in the sense that he is the one and only member of his tag team in this match. This is unbelievable. Somebody needs to tell Joe Biden what's going on here. Well, 
Here comes Kim Jong Un. He's been tagged in by Vladimir Putin. Here and he there's comes. The North Korean Obama. announcers table, reverently standing bowing, standing and reverently bowing. To Kim Jong Un makes his way over to Barack Obama. Barack Obama in a world of hurt already. That's just it, and with no help, Kim Jong Un. He's scooping him up now. What's he gonna do here? Oh, he just drops him down oh. onto his head. Kim Jong-un using his weight to just drive Barack Obama's face into the canvas. Yeah, nothing fancy about that. Kim now rolling no, Barack Obama smash. over onto his back. Kim bounces off the ropes and, oh, a big My splash. God. Kim now going to hook the leg and go for the pin here. One, One two. two. No, oh, no. Barack Obama kicking out. He's still got some fight left in him. He's not going to give up yet. Desperately needs to make a tag, but well, by God, if if Joe Biden doesn't get to ringside, Kim Jong Un having his way with Barack Obama here. He certainly Obama appears to be. at the mercy. Kim Jong Un lifting him up, flinging him into the ropes. Obama bouncing back, and oh, an elbow oh to the my face! Goodness, Kim Jong Un had to jump up there to reach Barack Obama's face with that elbow, but indeed he did. Obama is down. Kim Jong-un. Oh my god, he looks to be climbing to the top rope. And speaking of climbing, Joe Biden is on Vladimir Putin's horse! Oh my god! Oh my god, what is going on what here? Is he Joe doing? Biden, he's up on Putin's horse! Putin sees him! He's yelling! The Soviet announcers are yelling! Meanwhile, Kim Jong-un is on the top rope! He's about to... Oh, and Barack Obama oh rolled god. out of the way! Oh my Kim Jong Un just smashed his face into the ring. The North Korean announcers are in, in an uproar. What is going on here, Joe Biden? He's up he's, on Putin's horse. The horse is kicking and bucking. Joe Biden desperately holding onto the reins with the foam finger in the other hand. Meanwhile, Barack Obama getting to his feet, grabbing up Kim Jong Un. You got Chief Justice Roberts now going over to Joe Biden, telling him to get off the horse. Vladimir Putin's complaining. That's it. Vladimir Putin and the Soviet announcers both complaining. Obama's got a hold of Kim Jong-un here. Looks like he might be going for the stimulus. Oh, my God. And then... Oh, what's that? What's that? That was a basketball. Oh, my God. Barack Obama just got hit in the head with a basketball that was flung from... From the crowd. He's got and pegged then, in the sky. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my God. Obama's down. Obama's down. That was Dennis Rodman. It was who? I think Dennis that was Rodman. Dennis Rodman threw that basketball of Barack oh Obama. God, I didn't even see where it came from. Are you sure it was Dennis Rodman, James? Well, I think so. It was a six foot eight black man with pink hair wearing a dress. Well, that seems to fit the description. I don't know of any other of Kim Jong-un's friends that go around looking like that. I don't think so. My God, Obama down in the ring, Kim Jong-un, he's stirring. Chief Justice Roberts screaming at Joe Biden to get off of that horse. The horse appears to be spooked, it's rearing up. The, oh my God, there goes Joe Biden. He went right through the North Korean announcer's table. I don't believe in the North Koreans. They, they, they can't believe it either. They are very, very upset. They are screaming. Chief Justice Roberts, he, he doesn't know what to make of it. He's turning his attention back to the ring. What well, Kim Jong Un is is now stirring, and he's going towards Barack Obama. What's going to happen here? Obama incapacitated by those basketballs. He's scooping up Obama now. He what do we got here? Oh no! Oh, it's a Pyongyang oh, pile no. driver. Oh no! One, two, three. It's over. Obama and Biden—they've been defeated. Oh my God! Unbelievable turn of events here. What a tragic turn of events Joe Biden now being cleared out of the debris of the North Korean announcers table who have left their table and gone over to Kim Jong Un they are all hoisting him up now Vladimir Putin very pleased Soviet announcers offering him their congratulations he's going over to his horse making sure the horse is okay it appears to be fine what's he doing he's walking the horse over to where Joe Biden is laying in the debris of the North Korean announcers table what's he's doing he's turning the horse around now what's he doing oh my god the horse is pooping on Joe Biden look at that look at that pile he is covered in horse dung as well as cables and microphones and monitors what a mess 
PWF janitors coming out to start clearing the debris and getting Joe Biden out of here. Putin and Kim Jong-un. The victors here, Barack Obama, being led back to ringside. Barack Obama just shaking his head in dismay. Perhaps rethinking his choice of tag team partner. Yeah, I think he may be. What a clueless display we've seen from Joe Biden here tonight. And unfortunately, the American team goes down in this match. That's just it. And we'll see what happens with the Americans in this next bout. We got a big one here. Let's get down to ringside as Joe Biden is being cleared away. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush. Here they come, the former tag team champions. That's right, the Bushes, a storied history already in the their young PWF careers. Indeed, seemingly unbeatable as the tag team champions. They were tearing uh-huh. through everybody until they were bad feelings. That's right. They lost their titles. But they are still a formidable team with a lot of experience. And they're coming out here ready to fight the inspectors, not having found any weapons of mass destruction. That's just it. Everybody in this arena has been searched. The Scotiabank Arena has been searched high and low. No weapons of mass destruction found. Everybody can rest easy. That's in attendance tonight that we're not going to be instantly incinerated. Unless you're talking about with presidential action, James. That's right. And their opponents, Saddam Hussein and Osama Bin Laden. Here they come, Saddam Hussein and Osama Bin Laden. And listen to those boos. Yes, you hear uh, Not really fans of these two. There is some ululating going on. In the uh, peanut gallery, but mainly a chorus of booze here for these two individuals. Looks like we have Chief Justice Rehnquist officiating this bout. And we got George H.W. Bush and Saddam Hussein starting off. Looks like it could be a good one here, James. We'll see how this transpires. That's right. Chief Justice Rehnquist checking both combatants. They appear to be ready and... Rehnquist is ready to get this bout started. There we go. George H.W. Bush and Saddam Hussein. H.W. Oh, he comes in with a spear immediately. He's right on top of Saddam. He's hammering away at him. Pulling away at him. H.W. wasting no time. Jumping up and bringing his knees down into the ribs of Saddam Hussein. H.W. with an immediate upper hand. Saddam doesn't know what hit him. No, indeed not. He appears to be in a world of trouble here. George H.W. Bush. Picking him up now, and oh, a pile driver, and a good one at that. George H. W. Bush now he's got the prone Saddam Hussein. He's picking up his legs and just oh, he just oh. rolled back on him. My that God, had to hurt. George H. W. Bush in some serious trouble. Look at him, Saddam face down on the mat. George H. W. Bush bounding off the ropes, coming up, and oh, a My leg drop goodness. to the back of the neck. Saddam's face just mashed there into the mat. Indeed. Bin Laden screaming encouragement from his corner, but it's not doing any good at this point. Saddam is in a lot of trouble. H.W.'s getting him up again and... Oh, a power slam! My God. Saddam is prone in the middle of the ring. He is... Looks to be on his last legs already here. That's it. It looks like George H.W. This Bush one could, could this be over away. before it started. It certainly appears so. George W. Bush screaming encouragement to his father, who appears to be eating it up. Going over to Saddam Hussein now, picking him up. What's he going to do here? Oh, oh, he's just lifting him up in just a suplex. He's toying with Saddam Hussein. He could have finished him off there, James. Well, I think he should probably be going for a finisher here any minute now. I would think so. Saddam Saddam Hussein Hussein completely helpless, totally at the mercy being bombarded George H. W. Bush. by George H.W. Bush. Bush now. He's going to fling Saddam against the ropes, come back, and a boot to the oh chin! My goodness. Look at that big boot from George H.W. Bush. And Saddam Hussein is just out on his feet here. 
H.W. coming now, getting a hold of Saddam. I think he's going to give him the Bushu Shuru oh, here. Oh, it looks like the Bushu Shuru. No. Oh, no. Well, no. Just an elbow. Yeah, that's right. Kind of anticlimactic there. I thought for sure we were going to see a big finish. Saddam finisher. is down. I don't know. I mean, H.W. could go for the pin here just off that little elbow. but He could. He seems to be taking his time. I don't know what he's doing. Now he's so got Saddam he's, Hussein finished here. Why doesn't he just end it? I don't know. He's gonna he's exchanging some words with his son. W encouraging him. HW seems a little indecisive here. Looks like well, he's gonna go over and make the tag. Ah, okay. Meanwhile, Saddam beginning to crawl into the opposite corner. W coming in, hoping to take advantage and maybe finish this match. That's it. Osama bin Laden desperately reaching out towards Saddam Hussein. George W. Bush makes his way into the ring towards the prone Saddam Hussein. W coming over. Looks like he's going to get... Oh, and Saddam just got the tag. I don't believe it. W came in and starts laying into Saddam, but he didn't even see that Bin Laden is tagged. Bin Laden's climbing up to the top rope now. Bush, Bush is focused on Hussein. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Osama Bin Laden just drop kicked George W. Bush in the head. W's down now. Saddam rolling to the outside. Bin Laden now the legal man. Some of Saddam's people bringing him some water. Pouring some on his head and giving him some to drink as Bin Laden now presses on George W. Bush. And George H. W. Bush pretty shocked on the outside of the ring there. At this sudden turn of events, Bin Laden. George W. Bush caught completely off guard by Osama Bin Laden's aerial attack. That's it. Indeed he was, and now he's paying for it here. As Osama Bin Laden scoops him up, he's just gonna... Well, he's, he's wrenching his head. He's got him in a headlock there. He's trying to... Trying to just work George W. Bush's neck. And then, ooh, just dropping down to the canvas. Ooh. Bin Laden now. Bounding off the ropes here, coming back, and oh, a knee to the rib cage of George W. Bush. Ooh. George W. Bush now in some trouble. Yep, the tables have turned here. Indeed. And George H. W. Bush, well, still looking pretty good on the side of the ring there. Uh, probably disappointed that he didn't just finish this fight when he had the chance. Well, it's going to be up to W. to do something. That's it. He's going to have to, well, he should probably be trying to get a tag here because his father was totally unscathed. That's right. And Osama Bin Laden seems to be in control here. Yep, he's not going to let W. tag. He actually, he whips W. into the opposite corner. Bin Laden charging him in a shoulder. Ooh. To the chest. W. sinking into the corner. That's it. Bin Laden coming up to him and... Just wailing away at him with kicks. Just kicking him right down into the canvas. That's it, and that little turn of events, it seems to have rejuvenated Saddam Hussein, who is quite vigorously cheering Osama bin Laden on here as he delivers some boots to the head of the prone George W. Bush in their own corner. Bin Laden peeling W off the mat here, getting him up. Looks like he's going to hold... Well, he's going to put the tag on Saddam Hussein while holding George W. Bush. Uh-oh, what are we going to see here? For, and Saddam... Oh, he just headbutted oh, George W. Bush God. in the jaw. That was a brutal maneuver. No no tact whatsoever, just brute force. Now he's, Saddam Hussein getting his revenge on George W. Bush. That's it. Being briefly ab absconded by Chief Justice Rehnquist. For that little display of teamsmanship. That's right. One man at a time here. Saddam Hussein now. Completely in control. George W. Bush at the mercy of his opponents here. He's on the opposite side of the ring from his father. He needs to make a tag. Saddam Hussein keeping him in the opposite corner now. That's it. He's got George W. Bush on his knees and he's just smacking him back and forth. Left and rights to the face of George W. Bush. Bush needs to do something. He is need to he needs to dig deep and find that last reserve of strength to try and work his way out of this mess. He needs to get to his father here. The opposition making it difficult for him. 
said, oh, I'm grabbing the helpless George W. Bush now. Oh, he's, oh, What's no, he he's lifting him up in a powerbomb. Saddam, he's going for the pin here. It, this, it, could this could be, be it. over. One, two, two the, th- oh, he's oh, out. No. He's out. W barely got his shoulder up there. He is still alive. Saddam, Saddam Hussein, pretty upset about that count. He thought it was three. He thinks that that was a slow count there, and, well, he's not going to waste any time arguing. He's picking up George W. Bush now. What's he going to do this time? He's going to lift up. No, he's not. He's not going to lift up. Oh. Bush has reversed it. Saddam Hussein is up in the air and down with the oh. canvas. Oh, my God. George W. Bush. He's reaching towards his father now. He's crawling he's into over. the opposite corner. Is he going to make it? He got the tag. He got it. Here George comes H.W. H-W charging into the ring. Here it comes. And Saddam Hussein is clotheslined to the mat. Oh, my. H.W. bounding off the ropes. Coming back now. A big leg drop. And Saddam is in serious trouble. H.W. Osama back in control. on the outside of the ring. What is he doing? My, what is he doing? Oh, my God. George H.W. Oh. Bush getting Saddam Hussein up now. I think he is going to go for the Bushushuru now. Oh, but the, look at Bin Laden. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He just pulled something out of his... He's got a bomb. He Where'd just, he get that bomb? He just pulled a bomb out of his ass. Osama Bin Laden just the pulled a bomb out of his ass. The inspectors missed that one. Oh, my He's God. Letting, there's a fuse burning on that bomb. Oh, my God. What's going on there? George what? H.W. What's Bush this? is confused. That's Dick oh Cheney. God, He's standing Dick up Cheney. in the front row. He's got a shotgun. He's, He's got got a got a shotgun. He's going to shoot Osama Bin Laden. Oh, my God. Everybody get down. Ah! Oh, no. He hit George H.W. Bush in the George face. George H.W. Bush is down Oh, my the God. Ring. Cheney accidentally shot George H.W. Bush. My God, George W. Bush sees it, and he sees What's the he bomb. Doing? He's, take, he's taking his shoe off. He's hurling it at Bin Laden. Oh, he's hit him oh. in the head. Bin Laden's dropped the bomb. The it's, bomb is just rolling around in the ring there. Bin Laden and Hussein are scrambling for it. Oh, They've Hussein's got again. He's packing it up. He's going to throw it. Oh. oh, my God. Saddam Hussein and Osama Bin Laden have both just been blown to bits. They're dead. They've been killed. They're dead. They've been killed. Oh, my God. The bomb that Osama Bin Laden pulled out of his ass has gone off, and Saddam Hussein and Osama Bin Laden have been killed. George W. Bush now goes to his father. His face is bloody. He was shot in the face by Dick Cheney. But oh, my God. This is complete he madness. He seems to be conscious. It was... He must have just been grazed. We're going to have to go to a commercial break here, James. Some of this that is, this is complete insanity. We George H.W. Bush looks to be alive. And the Bushes appear to have won this match. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a turn of events. I've never seen anything like it. What are they going to say here? Chief Justice Rehnquist. Huh? He's rung the bell. It is the Bushes. It's the Bushes. Wow. Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden have been counted out, apparently. That's it. The Bush is literally the last men standing here. And they have won this bout, and they're taking PWF medics now, taking George H.W. Bush. They got him on a stretcher. Dick Cheney looks pretty red-faced there in the front row. Indeed he does. Quite a poor shot. But, my God, things could have turned out a lot worse than they did here. That was some quick thinking on the part of George W. Bush. That's it, and you could tell by that the look. Shoe. That's right, and you could tell by the look on the Iraqi announcer's table that they are a little bit red in the face themselves for That's having true. taught George W. Bush that tactic. That's that, right. That surely saved the day here. The Iraqi announcers uh, reinstated for this match here tonight after being suspended due to the events of State of Disunion when they threw a couple of shoes in the direction of George W. Bush. That's right. George W. once again getting the upper hand. That's just it. What an insane turn of events. My God. We've got the PWF janitors out there once again cleaning up Yes, the, the mess. cleanup crew earning their keep tonight. My goodness, what a spectacle we've seen thus far. I wonder how the rest of the matches here are going to top that. It's hard to say, but of course anything and anything can happen from the PWF and Scotia Bank Arena rocking with energy here. I thought we were going to have to make an early cut to commercial, James, with all that was going down there. But, well, it looks like we've made it through and we've got some more bouts coming up. Let's uh, 
take a quick word from our sponsors while we sort this mess out and we'll be back with more exciting action. Hey kids, are you craving more exciting action with your favorite presidential superstars? Yeah! <laughs> That's great because now we have the Presidential Wrestling Federation Superstar Action Figures. Cool! You can collect all of your favorite presidential superstars and engage in one-on-one -on -one battle, or tag team battle, or recreate your own presidential rumble or survival sequence. You could even create your own presidential mania. Awesome! Featuring Abraham Lincoln. To the rail splitter, Harry Truman. The box stops here. Calvin Coolidge. You, you. And Richard Nixon. I'm no crook. That's right. Collect all your favorite presidential superstars today. Ring sold separately. And we're back. And what a matchup we have next, James. Uh, a little bit of backstory with this next matchup, originally slated. George Washington was to go up against George the Third, but George Washington suspended. That's right from the PWF as a result of his feud with PWF owner and PWF champion Donald Trump. That's it. Not only George Washington, but Abe Lincoln also suspended. Right. And Washington now unable to face George the Third. That's just it. John Adams has been appointed to uh, replace Washington here against George III, and it, it should still prove an interesting matchup. We'll Indeed, see, maybe, uh, see maybe, how it goes here. Maybe more interesting. I don't know that George III could, could really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Washington, but perhaps John Adams... Well, I think maybe some of us were looking forward to that, James. Well, we'll have to let John Adams carry the torch, and he is certainly no fan of George III. Indeed. Stepping into the shoes of Washington here, John Adams. Let's get down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, John Adams. And here comes Adams, and he looks somewhat taken aback by the adulation of the crowd here, James. He, yeah, he is. He appears quite pleasantly surprised and indeed pleased. As he makes his way to ringside, uh, the crowd is certainly behind him here. He's holding his head high. That's just it. Uh, we may see a bit of a surprise from John Adams here. We'll see how it goes. And his opponent, George the Third. Here comes George the Third, Looking, Look of course, regal. He's wearing his crown, carrying a, a scepter. Got a fully small, decked out in his small regal coterie garb. of people around him, uh, carrying his cloak there. So he makes his way to ringside. John Adams, uh, looking upon this with a bit of disdain. George the Third now making his way into the ring. A lot of pomp and circumstance. Absolutely. John Adams, just plain John Adams there. Indeed he Ready is. Ready to go. And uh, let's see. George III got... is going to have to take off his crown and hand over his scepter. That's just it. we got Chief Justice Marshall out here. So I'm sure this match is in good hands. That's right, our head official. These two squaring away, and it looks like looks we're like ready, to go, ready to go. What's this now? John Adams appears to be bowing down in the presence of His Majesty George the... No, he's not! Oh, he's charging in with a spear! That was a spear! Oh, God, they're tangled up, and they are trading blows rolling around on the mat. John Adams getting some serious blows in there. George the Third trying his best to smack and thwack at John Adams, who Look charged in like a bear. Look at him go. Trading blows rolling around the canvas. John Marshall, he, he doesn't even know whether he could get in there and break them up there, clawing at each other like a couple of wildcats. These two going crazy on each other. Absolutely they are. And, oh, wait, what's this? John Adams, what is what's happened? John I think Adams George just, just stiffened up straight as a board and I think he just to took side. a knee to the groin there. Oh, my God. I think George III hit him with a low blow. George, John Marshall didn't see it. 
John Adams, he, he appears to have the wind completely knocked out of him. He is clutching his stomach on his side. George the Third getting up and starting to brush himself off now. He just, oh, he's looking disdainfully down on John Adams. He certainly is. And what's he doing here? He's walking over and, oh my God, James, he just walked Ooh. and stepped on John Adams' head. That was not even a move. He just walked across his head. Stepped on his head like it was a lady's coat thrown in a puddle for him, James. Adding insult to injury. Indeed. George the Third now going to bound off the rope and come back and, oh, oh my goodness, a knee drop to the head this time. Oh, and John Adams' face is getting beaten into the mat here. He is in He's a lot in of serious trouble. trouble. Appeared to be coming off strong, but George the Third taking control of this bout. What an unfortunate turn of events for John Adams. What's he doing here? He's pulling John Adams over towards the turnbuckle. He's grabbed hold of his leg, and oh my God, oh! he just smashed it off the steel, off the steel turnbuckle. John Marshall admonishing George III to stay away from that steel beam. George III shrugging it off as if he... This whole thing is beneath him. Now he's pulling John Adams back into the... Oh, no. He oh. was setting up John Adams' leg. He was setting up his leg. What's Look he at this? the intolerable act? Oh, my God. Oh, no. George John III Adams. has John Adams in the intolerable act, right in the center of the ring. Is John Adams going to be able to tolerate the intolerable act, James? Look at this. His face is turning red already. He is in excruciating pain. Oh, no. I think this one could be over. He's right in the center of the ring. He's not going to be able to reach the ropes to break this hold. Chief Justice Marshall asking if he wants to submit. He's saying no, but I think he's going to lose consciousness, James. I think Chief Justice Marshall may stop the fight. He can't hang on much longer. What's this? Oh, my God. It's George Washington. It's George he's Washington. He's stepping over the barrier. He's getting into the ring. He's oh coming up God. behind. George oh, Washington. he just kicked George my the Third God. in the back of the head. My God. My God, it's George Washington. He's got George the Third. He's got George John III. Marshall George is Marshall. ringing the bell. He's John Adams has been now. disqualified, but oh, George no. Washington is not going to let up here. No, he is wailing on George the Third, and John Marshall's trying to get to Washington. Washington just tosses him aside. Oh He's my! George the farewell address. The farewell address. He just gave George the Third the farewell address. My, my God. God! Washington now he's helping Adams up, and they are leaving because look who's coming. It's Donald Trump. Donald Trump's coming out of the ring. He's, he's got, got a secret service men with he's him. He's got an army of secret service. John Adams and George Washington making their way out of here through the crowd, who is jubilant right now. George Washington scampering away. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. George III totally unconscious in the ring. John Marshall, he has disqualified John Adams. And uh, George III is the victor here. The unconscious well, George III and John Donald Trump making his way to the ring now. Here he comes. He's calling for a microphone. As is his habit here, and he's going to get he it. He's the owner. He's got the PWF Championship belt on his shoulder. That's it. And let's see what he has to say. Gentlemen and broads, what a display. I want to congratulate George III on his astounding victory. They're, they're carrying him out now. Get, can we get a th thumbs up, George? He can't do it, but we know his heart's in it. He's given a thumbs up in his heart for that great victory over John Adams. And, of course, the despicable George Washington. What a cheating, low-down dog. Totally dishonest. What a coward running away. His people might call it a tactful retreat, but I call it cowardice. I call it like I see it, George Washington, a total coward. And of course, I'm here to introduce the main event, the one we've all been looking for. We got a great match here. We've got some great people on both sides. FDR, Stalin, Hitler. People love Hitler. Got a great voice, lots of style. Good match coming up here. It's the one that everybody's been waiting for. Three on three match. The allies and the axis. We're going to see who's going to come out on top here at World War Three. 
That's right, an incredible match, just like all the matches we've seen here tonight and all the matches we've seen since I took over as owner of the failing PWF, which isn't failing anymore. Of course, it's doing better than it's ever done. The numbers are the single greatest thing. Our ratings, our ratings. You want to talk about our ratings? They are through the roof. Totally great. I'm being called. Everybody's been saying this. Everybody's been talking about this. I'm being grading, I'm being called the greatest promoter in wrestling history. The greatest owner of any wrestling federation in history. And it's all true. And of course, what they're not mentioning and what they forget to mention is also the greatest wrestler, PWF champion, holding this belt that George Washington only wishes he could hold. I tell you what, George, maybe I'll make myself a brand new belt and I could melt this one down and you can make some new teeth for yourself. How does that sound? I think he would like that. Anyway, back to the point at hand. Our main event. We got Hitler. The CCW wanted Hitler. Everybody seems to want Hitler. Then nobody could get Hitler. I got Hitler. You want to talk about great ratings? Hitler's got great ratings. His people seem to love him. And if my people were as loyal to me as his are to him, well, we'd probably still have a women's division. And failure losers like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, I might still allow them to participate in my organization. Okay? But I'm not going to take any more time. We get a great bout coming up. Just as great as everything I've done as the owner and champion of the Presidential Wrestling Federation. I've made wrestling great again. And I can promise you now that we are going to keep wrestling great. Thank you. Strong words there from President Trump. Indeed, James. President Trump, uh, quite the statement there. And speaking of strong statements, I am being told that Cross Ross Cleveland, our own, is backstage now with Adolf Hitler. Let's go backstage. Ross? Thank you, Steve. That's right. I'm here with the Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler. Adolf, a lot has been building up to this match. What did you do to try and gain an advantage over your opponents here tonight? Yeah, naturally. You heard that, Steve. Thank you, Ross. Wow. Adolf Hitler. Coming out strong. Indeed he is. He's fired up. That seems to be the case, and I think everybody here has fired up this crowd. Just at a fever pitch here. You could cut the electricity with a butter knife, James. That's right, the capacity crowd here at Scotiabank Arena. This place is shaking in anticipation of the Absolutely main event. Absolutely it is, and, well, it looks like we're ready for the announcements here. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event... In this corner, the Allies, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin. Here come the Allies. FDR looking good, those bionic legs, those nice leg braces he got. He really making quite the recovery here. That's One right. of the great He's... recovery stories in the PWF alongside JFK. FDR got a strong stride coming down to ringside. Indeed he does. Churchill, looking like the British bulldog that he is. He is determined. And big Joseph Stalin, looking quite wily. He's ready to go here as well. They're ready to get their hands on this Axis team. They certainly are. And their opponents, the Axis, Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini, and Emperor Hirohito. Here they come, the Axis powers, and of course, Emperor Hirohito with his manager, Mr. Fuji. 
That's right. Accompanying him to ringside. And Hitler also accompanied by a whole uh, entourage of fellow Nazis. Indeed, this they This capacity are... crowd here raining booze down upon this team. You can see who the fan favorites here are, and it's not Hitler. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be so. Canadians leaning towards the Allied powers here. As well it should be. That's just it. But don't count these Axis powers out. They are, uh... No, certainly not. ...willing I... to go to any lengths. They're not a force to be trifled with. And certainly not lightly. Let's see who's gonna start this bout. Of course, we got a special uh, official for that's, this bout, James. That's right. Justice Louis Brandeis, specially engaged to be the official here. And, and it the, looks like Adolf Hitler is none too pleased with that fact. That's James. right. Louis Brandeis, of course, the great Jewish-American justice. Uh, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi... Entourage, not happy about it. No, they're it, crying foul. No, they're not too pleased. You know, the German announcer's table, uh, not too thrilled here. Uh, and the Hebrew announcer's table uh, appear to be trying to shout them down. They seem to be uh, getting ignored at this stage. Hitler's claiming the match has been rigged against him. Hasn't even started yet. No, it hasn't, but I, we're going to proceed anyway. Let's see who's going to start here. Looks like FDR is going to start off, and Benito Mussolini going to start off for the Axis powers. Hitler, despite his objections, this match is going to proceed as planned. He's just going to have to suck it up and win a fair fight here. But we got FDR and Benito Mussolini... Squaring off now, and this is about to begin. Yep, they're in the ring. Justice Brandeis has confirmed that they're ready to go, and we're ready to start this match. Here we go. FDR, Benito Mussolini. Mussolini, the bigger man, the brawnier man. He's scoffing at Franklin Roosevelt. He's walking up to him, chest outstretched, puffed out, like a cocky rooster. FDR saying, go ahead. He's not Take phased. a swing. Mussolini laughing at this prospect. Mussolini, he's rearing back. He's going to throw a punch. FDR's caught it. He's caught him FDR by the fist. FDR's caught it. Mussolini can't believe it. FDR's twisting Mussolini's wrist now. Mussolini, he's dropped the one knee. He's in pain. FDR, he's crying out now. FDR with that great upper body strength from all those years in a wheelchair. That's right. And he's got a winning grin on his face here as he brings Mussolini to one knee, wrenching that wrist over. Catching that punch. FDR now. Has Mussolini in some trouble. He's going to convert that into an arm bar. Mussolini seems to be in some trouble here. FDR. Taking he the advantage here quite early on. And with some surprise, James. He's putting the screws to Benito Mussolini. Indeed he is. FDR. Oh, with an elbow to the back. Oh, my goodness. Mussolini now down on both knees. Further pressing the arm of Benito Mussolini. My goodness. FDR, really taking control here. Mussolini now. He's trying to rear back up against FDR. FDR trying to catch him. FDR, pretty good balance here. That's Mussolini right. doesn't seem to be able to press him. FDR firm on his feet. With those leg braces. He's got Mussolini right where he wants him. And he's going to get him up here and... Fling him against the ropes and coming back in a big clothesline. Oh my goodness. Mussolini is down. FDR picking him right back up. Going for a body slam. My God. Mussolini in a the world of body hurt. strength on the part of FDR to scoop up Big Benito Mussolini. Dropping El Duce to the canvas. El Duce is in trouble. Match. He needs to make a tag here. He certainly does. FDR not letting him do so. FDR lifts him back up and... Oh, right back down to the leg sweep. Ooh. He's toying with him now. FDR. FDR now grabbing a hold of Mussolini's arm again. Looking like he's going to wrench that arm once more. That already injured arm of Benito Mussolini. This can be no good for him. Just going to work. 
The Axis powers might fall on their Axis. Well, they need to do something here. FDR, once again, he's going to whip Mussolini into the ropes. And, oh, Mussolini grabbed What's hold this? of the ropes. He scrambled over there and got he's the tag. tag. He's tagged Hitler. He's tagged Hitler. Adolf Hitler's coming into this match. Here he comes, Adolf Hitler. And there's coming up towards Goose, stepping towards FDR. Winston Churchill now calling for the tag. He wants a piece of Hitler. He indeed he does. He's vehement in the corner. FDR's gonna oblige He's him. He's gonna acquiesce. Here comes Churchill. Churchill and Hitler now squaring up. They're staring each other down. And then he, oh, there's Churchill with My a God. spear. My God. He goes right at Hitler. He's raining blows on him. Hitler trying to cover up his face. Churchill pounding down on him. Battering down incessantly. Hitler trying to cover up. He's trying to roll away. Churchill boring down on him now. Hitler rolls over. He's crawling into the corner. Churchill grabs him by the foot and dragging him back into the center of the ring. Churchill. With a leg drop. Oh, my God. Hitler in trouble now. Churchill taking command here. Has Hitler in his clutches. Indeed he is. And what's this? Mr. Fuji's now up on the apron. What's he doing? Well, he's getting the attention of Justice Brandeis. Meanwhile, Churchill lifting Hitler up. Looks like he's going to go. Oh, what was that? I think Hitler just blew sand in Churchill's face. Oh, my God. But Churchill... Has both hands on his eyes and his face. I think that might have been more than sand. My God. What a devious tactic on the part of Adolf Hitler. Mr. Fuji now laughing and jumping down from the apron. Wait, that appears to be more than sand. I think that's Zyklon B, Oh, James. my God. My God. Winston Churchill in a world of trouble He just here. got a face full of Zyklon B gas, apparently. That is this not is the, good. The French announcers table up in arms about that. Well, the Vichy announcers shouting them down. Vichy announcers totally fine with it. They appear to be totally fine with it there. Meanwhile, right? Justice Brandeis didn't see what happened. I think he can smell something, but he didn't see it. No, he certainly didn't. And, and that puts Winston Churchill in a precarious position. And Hitler now is taking the advantage. He's got Winston Churchill up and oh, a big suplex. Making it look easy. My God, Churchill is all of a sudden in a lot of trouble here. He certainly is. Hitler off the ropes and with a big leg drop. Ooh. Hitler, Hitler now taking full advantage. He's just going to start... St oh, he is just stomping on Winston Churchill. Just laying into him with a boot. Yeah, right, oh, right in the face. Crying out to their teammate who is in some serious trouble here. Mussolini and Hirohito and Mr. Fuji on the outside. They're really eating it up. They're loving every second of this at this point. Churchill going to have to dig deep. Hitler. Hitler now flinging Churchill off the ropes. He comes back and... Oh, a drop kick to the face. My goodness. Hitler. He's going to... Oh, he's hooking the leg. He's going to go for the pin here. One, two. two. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, he's up. Churchill Just hanging barely. on. Just barely getting out of that. What a close count. Winston Churchill look at, hanging on by a thread. Look at Hitler now. He's shouting something to his Nazi followers out there. They're shouting back at him. Oh, no. What's he doing now? Oh, my God. He's getting... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's uh -oh. setting him up for the final solution. Oh, no. This could be it, James. This is it. Oh, oh Churchill. It's the reversal. My God. He did the final solution to Hitler. My God. My God. I believe it. Both these men prone in the center of the ring. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Neither one of them moving. Both of them desperately need to seek their corners. Justice Brandeis counting the ten now. These men are going to have to get up. They're going to be counted out. Their teammates shouting out to a Mr. Fuji rapping on the apron with his cane. Justice Brandeis up to five now. Look, like they're starting to stir. Both men. Who's going to get to their corner first? Both men beginning to crawl to their corners. Both in agony. Looks like they're both going to get over there about the same time. Churchill tagging Stalin. Hitler tagging Hirohito. My God. Yes, they've, they've made it. And we've got Stalin and Hirohito in here now. They both charge into the center of the ring. Stalin with a big clothesline. Hirohito ducks under it. My God. Hirohito quick. And fast on his feet, Stalin, a big bear of a man. 
trying to bear down after him, but Hirohito, a slippery individual. Stalin, once again lunging, and Hirohito, oh, he just slipped right between Stalin's legs. My goodness. Coming up behind him. Oh, now he's on his back. Well, he's got oh him in a goodness. sleeper hold. Oh, my goodness, he's got him in a sleeper hold with his legs. He's leaning back. He's got his legs wrapped around Stalin's neck, and he's leaning back on him. Stalin is in a world of trouble. He's dropped to both knees. What can he do? He's got to find a way out of this. My God, Stalin now. Oh, he just lunges himself backwards, landing on top of Hirohito. Oh, my goodness. What a great tactic to escape that devastating hold. Ooh, Hirohito. He could have been asleep within seconds. Hirohito crawling away now. Stalin easing himself to his feet. Hitler there on the apron having some choice words directed at Stalin. Yeah, it appears to be distracting. Stalin, him from... Oh, he charged over My and Hitler God. just hit him in the head. What is this now? And what's... Oh, what's this? A bicycle oh kick. Oh, my God. A bicycle kick from Hirohito. Look at that. My God, Stalin is real. He's he's diving for the corner. He's tagging FDR. My uh, God, that totally took him out just out of his space. FDR now. Scrambling to get out of there like a wounded animal. FDR coming in to face Hirohito. These two squaring up now. Hirohito. Keeping his distance. Dancing out of FDR's reach. Hirohito. Looks like he's going for another bicycle kick against oh FDR. My goodness. FDR's got him! My god! FDR's grabbed him! Grabbed and then, him and dropped him to the mat! Oh, he slammed him down to the mat there. My goodness! Hirohito, quick to roll out of the way and... Try and get back up to his feet, but FDR, he's pressing in. He's trying to follow up with some lefts and rights. Hirohito trying to defend himself. FDR, he's backed Hirohito into the corner now. And oh, he's laying these lefts and rights on him. Just a barrage of blows. Hirohito in trouble. FDR grabbing hold of him. Looks like he, he's going to fling him into the opposite corner and charge right after him. And oh, he just belly oh, flopped him goodness. into the corner. This could be a big turning point in the match. FDR now. In control. He picks up Hirohito. And then, oh, what's he doing? Oh my god! It's a choke slam! Oh my goodness! He this could be over. way up there. FDR now. Hirohito he's, he's is prone. Hitler now back on the apron complaining to the referee about that blow Stalin gave him. Oh my god, Hitler. What is going on here? Laying into the referee there. He's just berating him. He absolutely is. And meanwhile, Justice Brandeis, with a few words of his own for Hitler. That's just it. And meanwhile, meanwhile, FDR looking to finish this match up. FDR, he's going to pound off the ropes now. Oh my god, Mr. Fuji's brought his cane down. FDR, he's tangled up in the ropes. FDR's He's up trapped. Oh my god. Both of FDR's arms are tied into the ropes. He's trapped. He's flailing against it. He's at the mercy of Hirohito now. Hirohito. He's coming in. Oh, he's just laying into FDR. FDR is trapped. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, my god. Meanwhile, Justice Brandeis right up in Hitler's face. Looks like he may be on the verge of disqualifying him and... Oh, it's Von Ribbentrop! What's this? He just pulled Justice Brandeis' legs out from under and Brandeis hit He's the out. ground... He's out! He's, he's, he's in his head! He's he, unconscious! He is unconscious. Oh my god! Look at FDR. FDR's so trapped in Hirohito. I said earlier, it's Meanwhile, like shooting fish in a barrel. It might be like Churchill and ships in a harbor. Churchill and Stalin are laying into the Ron Ribbentrop and the Nazis on the outside. Oh my god, it's an Hitler all and brawl. Mussolini are in there. There's a huge brawl on the outside. The Vichy and Friends announcers are fighting even. Meanwhile, FDR still tied up into the ropes. What is Hirohito doing? Oh my god! He is unhooking FDR's leg braces! Oh my goodness, James! He's pulling both of his leg braces off, FDR! Oh no, FDR is going to be again helpless! Crippled. And his teammates can't help him, they're engaged in this massive brawl on the outside of the ring! Hirohito taking those leg braces and oh, he's just beating oh FDR my. in the head with them! What a disgusting tactic! This is terrible! You got mayhem on the outside of the ring. We get an unconscious justice. FDR. In trouble here. He might re-aggravate he his injuries, James. This could be the, the end of his career. He is being beaten to the verge of unconsciousness. I don't know how he's still awake. 
Hirohito laying into him with those leg braces. This is despicable, James. I've never seen anything like... What's this? Oh, my God, what is this? It's Harry Truman. Harry has Truman. Harry Truman's in the ring. It's Truman. He's climbing to the top of... Oh, my God. An atomic drop on Hirohito from behind. Oh, my. Hirohito did not see Truman coming. He just done an atomic drop from behind. Hirohito is down. He is unconscious. Harry Truman, he's going over to free Roosevelt. Roosevelt, he lets him go. He drops. FTR to the canvas. is loose from the ropes. But what's Truman doing? Oh, he's no. climbing back to the he's top going rope. In... Oh, oh my no. God. He's going for a second atomic drop. Oh, oh my God. It's in Newman. A second atomic drop to Hirohito. He's going to have to surrender. Harry Truman. And his he's will gonna, to make war is broken, James. Harry Truman is out of there. He is headed back to... Edward. Mussolini is chasing him. Mr. Fuji and Mussolini see him. They're going after him. Hitler, Von Reventrop, they're still tangled up with Stalin Justice and Churchill Brandeis on the outside. Is stirring. Justice Brandeis is waking up now. FDR is you know, crawling over to the to Hirohito, James. Oh, my God. Hirohito's unconscious. FDR is going to put the arm around him. He's going he's for the so cover. He's so close. He's so close. He's mere inches away. Justice Brandeis is waking up. He sees what's going on. FDR reaches he has, desperately. He's he got has the cover. cover. He's got the cover. One, two, three. It's over. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my. The allied, the allied powers have prevailed. It's the allies. They've done it. They've done it, and they're still people brawling on the outside of this ring. More Chief Justice is now storming down the ringside to try and break this up. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events here. Oh, my God. Harry Truman coming through in the nick of time. Harry Truman redeeming himself after his feud with FDR. No referee awake at the time to stop the interference due to the Axis power's own chicanery. That's right. It has come back to bite them here. It certainly has the allies. And two atomic drops will end any match. No match can continue after that. That's it. That is the end of it. And Hitler, very unhappy on the outside of the ring. The coterie of Nazis surrounding him, equally upset. And it looks like them and... The German announcers, the Vichy announcers, they're all leaving. They are being, well, they're being poor sports about this, to say the least. When your own deceitful tactics are answered with the like kind and you can't take it, well... What goes around comes around. That's certainly it, James. I think they've learned their lesson here. And... Stalin and Churchill are back in the ring with FDR. They are raising their hands in victory. They're helping him put his leg braces back on. My goodness, James. FDR now. Back on his feet, his leg braces back on. Churchill and Stalin having helped him to his feet. And my goodness, what an event here. This allied team walking out victorious. Looking quite proud, as they should. They have indeed uh, proceeded to make the world safe for the PWF here tonight. That's right. Presidential superstars enabling America to be victorious in World War III. That's right. Maintaining an undefeated record in World Wars. That's just it. What an event. The Scotiabank Arena here just trembling with excitement after what all they have seen. This capacity crowd certainly got its money's worth. Absolutely, as they did. did the listeners at home. As always, of course, twenty nine ninety five has been debited from your bank account, and I think you'll agree, well worth it. Absolutely, money well spent, and we hope that you'll continue to turn in, and continue to drop your hard earned cash to the Presidential Wrestling Federation, because we're gonna continue to keep bringing you the most exciting action. From your favorite presidential superstars, as always. For the Presidential Wrestling Federation, I'm stunning Steve Lincoln Douglas. And I'm James J. Hamilton. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.